Please kneel for the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary to be led by our Vicar General, Father Berlin Den Dauanis. Act of Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We have recourse to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. As we recite the words of this antiphon with which the Church of Christ has prayed for centuries, we find ourselves the day before you, our Mother, we who make up the body of Christ, present in our land, recite the words of this present act of consecration and entrustment, in which we gather, first of all, the hopes and anxieties of our Filipino people at this moment of our history. Mother of our people, we who rejoice in the name Pueblo Amante de Maria, Bayang Sumisinta kay Maria, you know all our sufferings and our hopes. You have a mother's awareness of all the struggles between good and evil, between light and darkness, which afflict the world today. Mother of our people, accept the cry which we, deeply moved by the Holy Spirit, address directly to your heart. Embrace with the love of the mother and handmaid of the Lord, our people and our land, which now we entrust and consecrate to you. For we are truly concerned for the earthly and eternal destiny of every individual among us and for all our people. We have recourse to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities. Behold as we gather before your Immaculate Heart, we desire the Church of the Lord in our land. Join in heart and mind with all our people, isang bayang Filipino to unite ourselves with the consecration which for love of us your Son made of himself to the Father. For their sake, he said, I consecrate myself that they also may be consecrated in the truth. We wish to unite ourselves with our Redeemer in this consecration for the world and for the entire human race, which in his divine heart has the power to obtain pardon and to secure reparation. The power of this consecration by your Son, our Lord, lasts for all time and embraces all individuals, peoples, and nations. Thus, also it embraces our people in our land. The power of this consecration overcomes every evil that the spirit of darkness is able to awaken and has in fact awakened in our times, in the hearts of men and women in human history. How deeply we now feel the need for the consecration of our people, in union with Christ Jesus himself, for the redeeming work of our Redeemer must be shared in and by the world and by our own people through the Church. We turn to you, Mother of our Redeemer and our Mother. Above all creatures, may you be blessed. You, the handmaid of the Lord, who in the fullest way obeyed the divine call. Hail to you, who are wholly united to the redeeming consecration of your Son. Mother of the Church, enlighten the people of God along the paths of faith, hope, and love. Help us to live in the truth of the consecration offered by Jesus, your Son, for the entire human family, and for us, the Filipino people, and for our beloved land. In trusting to you, O Mother, our people, your Pueblo Amante de Maria, we entrust to you this very consecration itself, placing it in your motherly heart. Immaculate Heart, Help us to conquer the threat of evil, 
which so easily enters and takes root in the hearts of people today, whose immeasurable effects already weigh down upon our country and seem to block the paths toward the future. From hatred, violence, conflicts, which divide and destroy our people, deliver us. From sins against human life, from its very beginning, deliver us. From the demeaning of the dignity of the children of God, deliver us. From every kind of injustice in the life of society, deliver us. From readiness to trample on the commandments of God, deliver us. From the loss of awareness of good and evil, deliver us. From sins against the Holy Spirit, deliver us. Accept, O Mother of Christ, this cry, laden with the hopes and burdens, the sufferings of each one of us and of all our people. Help us with the power of the Holy Spirit to overcome and conquer all sin, individual sins, social sins, and the sin of the world, sin in all its manifestations, let there be revealed once more in our own history as a people the infinite power of the redemption, the power of God's merciful love. May it destroy the power of sin and evil among us. May it transform consciences. May it change hearts to the likeness of the heart of Jesus and your own heart. May your immaculate heart reveal for all in our land and through all the world, the light of hope. O Mary, Mother of Jesus and our Mother, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Amen. Please remain kneeling. The Bishop will now entrust the Diocese of Baguio to our Blessed Mother by his symbolic offering. O Blessed Virgin, Our Lady of the Atonement, Mother of God, and Our Most Gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon the Diocese of Baguio and upon us all, who greatly hope and trust in you. We, your faithful people, are assembled here to offer you this diocese and the whole country in which we live. You were honored throughout the diocese as its protectress and its mother. We consecrate the Diocese of Baguio to your maternal care. To you we entrust our priests, those in consecrated life and the laity, who invoke you as mother. Guide us to seek freedom and justice for all. Direct its steps in the ways of peace. Enable all to meet Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Plead for us, your children, whom you did receive and accept at the foot of the cross. Our Lady of the Atonement, pray for us and give to the world the peace, reconciliation, and unity for which all peoples are longing. Peace in the truth, justice, and charity of Christ. Restoration of the sick, consolation for the troubled, repentance of sinners, and peace to the departed. We offer you all the people of this diocese, especially those who know you so little or not at all. May all in our country know Christ, the light of the world, and its only Savior. May we, who follow your Son, be faithful in the works of building a culture of life in our world where all human life is treasured and the gift of God's creation is respected and cared for and the noble cultures of the people are preserved and enhanced by the gospel 
so that all may share the fruits of God's generous love. Our Lady of the Atonement, sinful as we are, we come to you, who are all pure. We salute you, we honor you, as how we may, with our humble offerings. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 